Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. Southern Miss track and fields Trey Johnson capped off a fantastic weekend in Florida with a silver medal. Johnson earned his second place finish at the U20 outdoors in the 400 meter dash by clocking in with a time of 46.41 seconds in the finals on Sunday. With a silver medal race in the final, Johnson now qualified for the Pan American U20 championships that'll take place in July. He'll head off to Costa Rica for the event, which begins July 18th. Four time All American and former Mississippi State Bulldog Logan Boss will rep the red, white, and blue at the 2019 Pan American Games that kick off in August in Lima, Peru. The decorated SEC champion in the 2018 indoor high jump event will compete in the women's high jump on August the 8th. Competition gets underway that afternoon right around 2 p.m. Drew Brees' time as a New Orleans Saint is not over yet, but it may be closer than we all think. With that in mind, Brees welcomed the former Duke star Zion Williamson to New Orleans with a signed and framed jersey with a message that said, Passing the torch to you. Who dat? The jersey from Brees, accompanied by a card that read, Zion, welcome to the family. Let's dance. That's the jersey there. Williamson had previously posted a picture of that jersey on his Instagram, but the video wasn't released until today. The Atlanta Braves got some good news on the injury front today after returning Southpaw Sean Newcomb from his minor league rehabilitation assignment. Newcomb was hit in the head by a line drive last weekend, which led him to a trip on the seven day concussion list. According to reports, the Braves will ease him along, likely beginning him in bullpen relief. Tiger Woods name has been dropped from a wrongful death suit and a claim against a Florida restaurant that carries Woods name. The lawsuit was filed last month by the parents of a bartender who crashed his car and died after being served at the Woods Jupiter restaurant. It's since been reported that Woods doesn't own the restaurant, but rather just invests in it. Woods was not immediately available for comment while he's out of the country on a family vacation after competing in the U.S. Open. Well, on Monday night, Milwaukee's Giannis Antetokounmpo was named the most valuable player in the NBA, becoming the third youngest to win the award since 1980. The award was the second in Milwaukee Bucks franchise history Giannis joining Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the exclusive list. The Greek freak beat out Houston's James Harden and OKC's Paul George for the award. And while some point to Harden's historic scoring numbers, there's no doubting who was on the better team. It was Giannis. He led the Bucks to a 60-win season, tops in the NBA, helping him to bring in 78 of 101 first-place votes. Giannis finished the year averaging 27.5 points, 12.5 rebounds, and nearly six assists per game, all career high. Uh, I want to thank the, the front office, the ownership, for believing in me. And I was 18 years old back in Greece. Uh, you know, they allow me uh, to lead this team and trust me. And uh, I want to thank the city of Milwaukee. I want to thank uh, my country, Greece, and uh, Nigeria for always supporting me. You know, uh, back in Greece, when they watch the game, it's 5 a.m., 6 a.m., so they always stay up and watch the games.